Good day class, our topic is an essential concept in programming the single dimensional array in C++. If you ever wanted to store a multiple values without declaring more than one variables or a bunch of variables, array are best solution. Okay, so let's get started. So what is a single dimensional array or what is an array? A single dimensional array is a group of elements that is stored together under a single variable name and each element is accessed using index. Okay. So for example, if we want to store we want to store the grade of five students instead of creating different variables, we can use one array with five elements. So may have another example dito. Yeah. So here it is. Continuing then, um, for example, if you want to store, ganyan sabi ko na, if you want to store, uh, store grades of five students without an array, mag, ang kailangan natin is a five variables. But using an array, we can use one array in a single element. So here's an idea. Papakita natin yung idea natin. Saan yan? Okay, so here it is. So, the, so here's the idea. In an array, we can declare a single variable or we can represent five elements in a single in a single variable or a single array. Okay, so in an array, meron tayong tinatawag na elements. Yung elements is your data, yung value na gusto mong i-store. So, ibig sabihin nun, they call it an element. And each element is represented or you can access it using, using an index. Okay, the first index is always zero, not one. Okay, so your first in your first value represented by zero index. Okay, so if you create an array, or if you create an array with five elements, ibig sabihin nun, your last index is five. Okay, because always is or because the starting element represented by index zero. So meron tayong code dito kanina. Ito siya. So, ulit, pakita ko lang ulit to. So, these are the index represent, na yung represent niya yung mga elements. So, yung element na sinasabi ko, ulitin ko ulit, yun yung mga values na gusto natin i-store. So, based on the problem na sinabi ko kanina. So, balik tayo sa codes natin. So, like for example, this one. Instead of using using a traditional variables, we can use we can use an array or a single dimensional array. So, how to declare an array? So, we have two ways to declare an array. We can declare it like this. So, let me go sign it in grade. So, instead of instead of declaring like this, so, pwede natin siya declare in a single variable. And array is represented by a square bracket. So, pag nakita nyo yung square bracket, ibig sabihin nun, the variable is an array variable. Then, always, uh, terminate with a semicolon. So, kung napansin niyo, meron ditong error. So, bakit siya merong error? Required kasi nating ilagay in this kind of declaration or in an array, kailangan nating mailagay sa loob ng square bracket yung length ng array. So, like for example, gagawa tayo ng 5 elements of array. Means, in this array variable grades, meron siyang maximum capacity of or length na 5. So, ibig sabihin, pwede na nating tanggalin to and then pwede na niyang pwede niya nang i-represent tong buong to in a single variable. So, pwede na nating tanggalin to kasi pwede na natin siyang i-represent using the array variable grid. And you can assign the value to an array element value one by one. So, pwede natin mag-assign one by one. Meron tayong two ways to assign a value of the array variable. Pwede natin one by one na mag-assign ng, ng data or pwede namang all at once. So, let's start with one by one assigning a value of an array. So, since meron na tayong array variable, ang gagawin na ulit natin is to call the name of the array variable. And then, again, the first index is 0. So, kung anong ilalagay natin. So, like for example, is 98. 
and then kung lalagyan ulit natin yung susunod na element natin let's say may example tayo kanina yan 90 85 85 copy na lang natin to 3, 4, 5 Okay So Change natin yung value 85, 78, 92, 88 75 92 88 Then change the index of course So The first element is 0 The second element is 1 2 3 4 And Since 5 lang yung declare natin As the length of an array so, ibig sabihin nun, hindi tayo aabot sa index 5. Okay? So, pag nilagay natin yung index 5, automatically, magkakaroon ng error yung code natin because our index is out of range. So, ang last index natin, if we we declare 5 elements, our last index is 4 because we start the index by 0. Okay? So, then, nakapag-create na tayo ng a variable, a single name of an array variable with 5 index. Compare kanina, may different names kasi na nagamit, tama? So, this is an example of uh, assigning a value to an element of an array 1 by 1. So, ganyan yung gagawin natin. Okay? The next one, kung paano naman mag-assign ng value of a variable, pwede naman natin siyang gamitin uh, all at once. So, like for example, let's try to declare again a variable. Let's say, gr this. Yeah. And then, close and open parenthesis. And then the value. And of course, the terminator. So, lalagay natin is 5. Then, the value of the variable. Let's say, 90, 85, 75, 92, 88. Yeah. So, in this regards, kung titignan nyo to, meron na tayong two ways on how to declare and assign a value of a variable. So, first natin example, this one, we declared first the array variable before one by one assigning a value. Then, our next example is uh, assigning a value of an array variable all at once. So, like for example, this one. Yeah. So, we declare 5 storage. So, the first value represent by index 0. So, kung tatawagin natin to, ang tatawagin natin si index 0, so index 1, index 2, 3, and 4. Okay, to access or display the a specific value from the array, use is, ang gagawin lang natin is to use each index to display the value na gusto natin ma-display. So, let's try to use C out. And let's say, gusto ko ma-display is 92. If I want to display 92 in array variable grades, ang gagawin ko lang is to call the array variable grades. A square bracket to represent an array. And then, ilalagay ko dito yung index na gusto kong gamitin or i-display. Kung 92 yung gusto kong ma-display, ang i-call ko lang is the index 3. So, if I run this one, kung ira-run ko, ira ko tong program na to, ang madi-display natin is 92. So, here it is. Bakit 92 yung na-display natin? I call the index 3, and index 3 is the, meron siyang volume 92. Okay? So, again, if you want to access or display a specific value of an array, ang tatawagin natin is the index. So, if I want to display 85, ang tatawagin ko is 1. Same with the same with the other example of an array, this one. Kung gusto mong tawagin or gusto mong ma-display yung 75, ang tatawagin natin is the index. So, bibilangin lang natin. So, this is 0, 1, 2. So, ang tatawagin natin is 2 and then change, of course, change natin yung pangalan GRDs. Yan. So, if I call the GRDs or grades 2, ang tinatawag natin is the index 2. So, this is the 0, 1, and 2. So, let's try to run kung mani-display ba natin si 75. 
Okay, so here it is. The display natin is 75 because we call the index 2. Since we call the index 2, ang display natin is the element 75 or the third element. Okay? Okay, so that's the uh, one by one calling of the element value of an array. And if we want to display all the value of an array elements, pasok naman tayo sa data structure. Now, here's a very important concept, the traversal. If you still remember the traversal, um, what is traversal? In data structure, traversal is going through each element of the array one by one to access or process its value. We usually do this using looping. Tama, kung nabigay na yung example sa inyo about the traversal. So let's try. Let's try to use traversal to access all the element of the array. So gawa tayo dito ng looping. So like for example, for then since index is equal to, since the first index represented by zero, my initial value is zero. Then, but x, yan. i is less than or equal to four since mag end sa four. Tama? Or pwede kong ilagay dito is less than five para mag end siya sa four. Then, i plus plus. Then, let's use c out. c out. Then, i call natin yung grts. And then, calling off. Instead of using the index, kasi pag index yung tinawag natin, like for example, I call the index 0. Lagyan natin space. If I call the index 0, if and, and I run this 1, instead of displaying all the value element of the array, ang mangyayari, madi-display natin 5 times lang yung index 0. What is index 0? Yung 90. Okay? So, if we want to display using traversal instead of using a constant value, now, like for example, 0, pwede natin i-access to using the variable i. Bakit i? i started with 0 and incremented each time na maglulook by 1. So, magkakaroon ng counting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, mag stop yung looping natin. So, since meron tayong looping na ganun, Ibig sabihin nun, i-represent yung 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So, let's try to run it again and check kung display natin lahat ng value of an array. So, here it is. We display all the value of an array using a traversal. And usually, we do this using a looping and that's it. That's it. Nagawa natin siya using the for loop. So, meron tayong 90. 85, 75, 92, 88, and that's all the value of an array. So, ang tinatawag tong process na to as a traversal in data structure. So, if you want to, ask, to process or access all the element, we can call it, we can perform or use the uh, logic of traversal. Okay? So, another solution Another solution, another solution of, another solution of uh, getting all the value of the element is using the for each loop. So, pwede rin natin gamitin yung for each loop. So, gawin muna natin comment to. And then, let's try to perform a for each loop. So let's try to perform for each loop. So for the keyword is still for, and then nalagay natin dito is the a variable. We did declare tayo dito ng variable. Let's say g. Okay, and then the name of the array na gusto nating makuha or ma-access lahat ng mga value niya. So like for example, the g are this, and then the body of the for each loop. Babatay ko yan. Then after that. Then, we tayo na see out, and then, ang i-display natin, instead of the GRDs and then the index, for each two pang gagawin niya kasi is to get one by one yung value of a group of an element. So, since this is a group of element, 
one by one kukunin niya or gagawa siya ng looping based on the length of the array isa-isa niyang kukunin yung mga values so ang kukunin natin si G sino yung G? yung G yung pag strain niya ng mga values na makukuha niya every time na magkakaroon siya ng looping so yung first value na makukuha niya is the first index and then yung susunod of course yung susunod sa first index hanggang umabot siya sa last index so ibig sabihin nun yung ginamit nating solution kanina for traversal pwede rin natin i-perform using the for each loop so let's try to run this one kung pareho ba yung mangyayari okay. so here it is so since we use the for each loop ang mangyayari the first value of g is 90 so yun yung na-display the second looping mapapalitan naman yung, var yung value ni variable g into 85 by the 85 is the second index and then maglo-loop ulit may display naman yung third value of an array variable hanggang sa umabot siya sa last na index okay so kailan magi stop yung for each loop pag umabot na siya sa last element of an array okay so that is they or they called it the for each loop so meron tayong two possible solution in a traversal we can use a typical looping statement or we can use the for each loop okay so that's the end of our discussion for today then for your attendance um, for your attendance pakisend kay pakisend kay uh, class president yung uh, way on how to access all the element in an array so what is the what is the solution to access all the element in an array so thank you guys thank you for listening